everybody, I'm Allie from Eastern Area Public Library. Last time we talked about zero to five and how much love and attention and they will need and how there will be some patience required with that. Well, the I'm gonna put this from about three to seven, no different. Believe it or not, the three to seven year old still sees you as that big, awesome hero. However, the three to seven year old has a little bit more physical mobility and they now believe that they are ready to do all that you can do. In their mind, the only difference between them and you is that you are literally bigger. That's it. So with that in mind, know that they still want to be you. They still want you involved in their life. However, as they are going from three to seven, there is a new thing called a cool factor. And that usually is um, inspired from the social outside. And there is a certain pressure that I am with my parents the way they have taught me to be. I can do anything and be everything. And you're going to find that when you're with your child, your child acts one way. Um, probably not the way that you would prefer. Um, usually it's two extremes. It's either um, a hellion all the time <laughs> or it is a perfect child who never disobeys um, with occasional moments of rebellion that you quickly and swiftly correct. Um, however, with other times, there will be, when you put your child with other people or around other people, your child will act radically different from how you have expected them to act at home. This is predominantly because um, each time you are exposing your child to other people, your child is now determining whether or not they can trust what you have taught them. They are going to test the limits to see can I do this? What happens when I do? It's the exact same thing they were doing as infants with their arms, legs, eyes, ears, mouth, and tongue. Only now they're doing it with a little bit more action because they can run further, they can see farther, they can taste more, they can hear more, they understand all of these things a little bit differently. So they start to explore on their own. And their need for you doesn't go away. Rather than needing you to do it for them, they want you to do it with them. So before the infant, the infant was willing to let you do it for them because that was the only way they could get it. But from about two to three onwards, they want to do it themselves, but they want you there with them doing the same things. They want you as their constant companion because again, they still want to be you. So keep that in mind that your little one loves and adores you, but they don't want you doing it for them. They want you doing it with them. And they're choosing, um, oftentimes, if they're forced to make a decision, they will have to choose whether they will spend time with you doing what has always been done or whether they're going to change their thoughts on how important this activity is. And they become aware that baby is different from me. And even among babies, you'll find that baby says, that's a baby, I'm not a baby. That's a very just human thing. So be aware of that as you're working with your three to seven year old, that they want you with them, not doing it for them. Have a great day, everybody.